Ever wondered why your boss, despite being a smart person, acts like a baboon in meetings? Or why your spouse, the love of your life, sometimes seems like an alien from a different galaxy? It's a common phenomenon, really. Each day we navigate through a jungle of miscommunication, trying to decipher the cryptic language of our friends, co-workers, even our family. Picture this. You're at a dinner party, and your friend is telling a long-winded story about their cat's dental hygiene. You're left scratching your head wondering why they thought this was an appropriate conversation topic. Or maybe you're in a meeting, and your boss is using so much jargon that it feels like you're trying to decode an alien transmission. Enter, surrounded by idiots, a beacon of hope in this wilderness of misunderstanding. This book is like a secret decoder ring helping you understand the underlying motives and communication styles of those around you. If you've ever felt like you're living a real-world version of Planet of the Apes, then buckle up, because Surrounded by Idiots might just be your survival guide. So the book introduces us to a color-coded system to classify people's behaviors. No, it's not a fashion advice manual, but it might help you figure out why your boss loves his red tie so much. Let's start with the color red, shall we? Reds are the powerhouses of our society. They're the ones who lead the charge, the ones who aren't afraid to take charge, and the ones who probably decide the office dress code. If you've ever wondered why your boss insists on having all decisions run by him first, then he might just be a red. But remember, they're not control freaks, they're just passionate about leadership. Next up, we have the yellows. Yellows are the life of the party. They're the ones who will turn a Monday morning meeting into a stand-up comedy show. They're the ones who keep the office atmosphere light and breezy, even when the air conditioning is broken in the middle of July. So, if you've ever found yourself laughing at a colleague's joke during a serious meeting, you might just be dealing with a yellow. Now, let's move on to the greens. Greens are the peacemakers. They're the ones who will try to settle disputes by suggesting a group lunch at the new vegan place down the street. They're the ones who remember everyone's birthdays and always have a stash of homemade cookies in their desk drawer. So, if you've ever been calmed down by a colleague's soothing words during a heated argument, you might be in the presence of a green. Finally, we have the blues. Blues are the thinkers. They are the ones who will spend hours researching the best brand of pens for the office. They're the ones who will always have a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, and a retirement plan ready to go. So, if you have ever been amazed at a colleague's meticulous planning and attention to detail, you might just be witnessing a blue in action. So next time you see someone acting in a certain way, don't reach for your phone to call the exorcist. They might just be a different color type. Now that we have our color-coded glasses on, let's see how we can use this newfound knowledge to actually communicate with these colorful personalities. Imagine trying to get to the point with a red. They're the get things done folks, right? So you might think that a quick blunt approach would work. And you'd be correct. Reds don't have time for small talk. They want facts, and they want them yesterday. So, when interacting with a red, be direct, be concise, and for goodness sake, be quick. On the other hand, if you're dealing with a blue, you're dealing with a detail-oriented person. They love their lists, their schedules, and their plans. So when you're trying to communicate, make sure you've got your facts straight. If you give a blue half the story, expect them to ask for the other half, and then some. Yellows are your social butterflies. They love to interact, to share, and most importantly, to have fun. So when talking to a yellow, be engaging, be enthusiastic, and don't forget to laugh at their jokes, even if you've heard them before. Lastly, we have the greens. They're the laid-back, easygoing type. When talking to a green, be patient, be understanding, and always ask about their weekend. All 48 hours of it. Remember, when dealing with a red, don't beat around the bush. And when talking to a green, don't forget to ask about their weekend, all 48 hours of it. So, we've decoded the colors and learned to talk the talk, what's next? Let's dive into the book's survival guide for a world bursting with color. It's like navigating a vivid rainbow, each color a different personality type. You'll find reds are fiery, demanding attention, blues are calm, preferring peace. Greens, they're the nurturing souls, and yellows, well, they're the life of the party. And that, dear viewers, is how you survive being surrounded by idiots. Just remember, if all else fails, there's always the option of becoming a hermit.